Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's Norton High School. Newton North High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Yes! Buying insurance shouldn't be a race against time. These are the most important assets you're protecting. You can talk to an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. We got a crazy audience today. Make some noise. Uh, packed house. Uh, I'm Billy Costa, your host. Uh, listen, back in November, 130 high school teams in Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of, well, 16 spots in this year's competition. The goal now is to become the next high school quiz show state champion. Today's matchup has Newton North High School taking on Norton High School. And on the Newton North team, we have Sam, Paris, Andrew, and Max and the alternates Natalie and Louie and the coaches Gregory Drake and Albert Cho. Nice round of applause. <laughs> the Tigers. And representing Norton High School, we have Tristan, Dan, Gwen, and Bobby. Alternates on the sidelines, Ryan and Tori. And the coaches, Jennifer Young and Chris Gale. How about a nice round of applause? <laughs> it's the Lancers and the Tigers. Uh, the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We're going to start with a toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for any Wrong answers. So, teams, if you folks are ready, so am I. Let's go. In the 1600s, what English scientist explained the relationship between force, mass, and acceleration? Yes, Bobby. Isaac Newton. Yes. In a 2015 interview seen by nearly 17 million people and generating a tidal wave of support on social media, what former Olympian told Diane Sawyer that he was transitioning to female? Yes, Bobby. Bruce Jenner. Yes. In the human body, what vast network of organs and vessels transports nutrients and oxygen to cells and removes cell wastes? Yes, Bobby. Circulatory system. That is correct. Uh, the dangers of giving the state control over new and powerful technologies is explored in what 1932 novel by Aldous Huxley? Yes, Paris. Brave New World. Yes. Okay, take a look at the screens in front of you. You will see a picture. Uh, the Library of Congress, seen here, was established in 1800. After the British burned the original library in 1814, what former president donated his personal library as a replacement? Yes, Andrew. Thomas Jefferson. Yes. Uh, Virgil wrote his epic poem, The Aeneid, in what language? Yes, Paris. Latin. Latin is correct. He sometimes calls me bro. What British Prime Minister said this in 2015, describing his close relationship with Barack Obama? Tristan. David Cameron. That is correct, uh, bro. Uh, what U.S. state is home to Denali, also known as Mount McKinley? Yes, Max. Alaska. Yes. To study how long-term spaceflight affects the body, NASA is using retired astronaut Mark Kelly as the control while his identical twin brother Scott spends a year aboard what satellite? Tristan. The International Space Station. Correct. Take a look at your screens once again. Your next question is coming up right now. Hi, I'm Barbara Mataloni, president of the Massachusetts Teachers Association. Here's my question. In 1925, in a highly publicized trial known as the Monkey Trial, what Dayton, Tennessee high school teacher was charged with violating state law 
by teaching Darwin's theory of evolution. Uh, yes, Bobby. Scopes. John Scopes is correct. In the NFL, if the offense believes it cannot score a touchdown, it may try for a field goal, which is worth how many points? Max? Three. Yes. El Greco was a Greek artist whose visual style expressed the passion of the Counter-Reformation in what country that was his adopted home? Yes, Paris. Spain. Correct. Which of the following terms refers to white Southerners who supported Reconstruction policies after the Civil War, usually for their own self-interest? Is it A, mugwumps, B, carpetbaggers, or C, scalawags? Yes. B, carpetbaggers? No, Norton, you want to try Dan? Uh, C, scalawags. Scalawags is correct. Uh, math question now. Here it comes. What is 42 plus the absolute value of negative 10? Andrew. 52. Correct. Which of these rocks, gypsum, coal, or cinnabar, is not a mineral? Bobby. Coal. Yes, that's correct. In Rick Riordan's uh, novel, The Lightning Thief, uh, Mr. Brunner, the director of Camp Half-Blood, is actually what famous centaur from classical mythology? Yes, Paris. A uh, heron? No. No, Norton, you want to try it? Chiron or Chiron is the answer. Driven by the tech boom and a limited housing market, what California city has the highest monthly average apartment rent in the U.S., at least according to Forbes magazine? Max. San Francisco. Yes. Uh, what country is home to the Hagia Sophia, a famous Byzantine cathedral built in the 6th century. Yes, Max. Turkey. Correct. An earthquake measuring 6.0 on the Richter scale is how many times more powerful than a 5.0 quake? Yes, Max. 10. That is correct. And uh, next question. Glacier National Park is in what sparsely populated U.S. state nicknamed Big Sky Country? Yes, Bobby? Montana. Montana is right. In May of 2015, at a luxury hotel in Zurich, uh, seven senior officials from what global soccer organization were arrested on U.S. corruption charges? Yes, Dan. FIFA. Exactly. In 1967, in Cape Town, what South African surgeon performed the first human heart transplant operation? Yes, Paris. Christian Barnard. Yes. Math question. Name the metric prefix that equals 10 to the third power. Yes, Dan. Kilo. Yes, that's correct. For his role in a mass prison break in 2011, uh, what ex-president of Egypt was sentenced to death by an Egyptian court in 2015? Yes, Max. Mohamed Morsi. That is correct. Derived from the Greek, meaning old age of the stone. What period of human history saw the development of the first primitive stone tools? Tristan. Paleolithic. That is correct. After a massive letter-writing campaign in 1968, what science fiction series was renewed for a third season and became the first show that fans actually kept on the air? Did he make it? No, Bobby, you just missed it. The answer is Star Trek. And we move on. Portland is the name of the most populous city in Oregon and in what other U.S. state? Yes, Andrew. Maine. Maine. Uh, to acquire land for a southern railroad, the U.S. paid Mexico $10 million for land now in Arizona and New Mexico under what purchase finalized in 1854? Yes, Gwen. The Gadsden Purchase. That is correct. Uh, Jimi Hendrix. Oh, I wanted to get that question in. <laughs> That's the end of round one. The score right now, Newton North High School, 130 points. Are you ready? Norton High School, 130 points. It's a dead <laughs> tie. The head round is next. First, we're going to take a few minutes to get to know the players a little bit better. And I've got a question in my hand. This is the way it works. Uh, I'll ask the question. Each of you will give us your answer. And we'll start with you, Sam, over at Newton North. Uh, what fictional character from a book, a movie, or a TV show do you most identify with and why? Uh, Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park, because I believe that life finds a way. 
Oh, well said. Short and sweet, well said. Paris? I identify with Michael Scott from The Office because <laughs> most of the time I have no idea what's going on. I feel like I'm on the outs of everything, but occasionally I'll come up with moments of brilliant lucidity and wisdom. Wow. <laughs> now, Paris, you know you're in the middle of a heated competition right now, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Andrew, how about I you? That. <laughs> uh, I identify with Ferris Bueller uh, because I try to make the most out of every situation. Okay, you're not stealing cars at the house no. or anything like that. <laughs> uh, Max, how about you? Um, I identify with Luke Skywalker from Star Wars. Um, I like the way he takes on challenges, you know. Much like you're doing right now. Yeah. This could be the biggest challenge of your life right here, Max. Uh, over to Norton High School. Tristan, how about you? I would have to say Aldous Dumbledore because of my prominent facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, we hadn't noticed. Um, Dan? Uh, I would be Draco Malfoy because... <laughs> Uh, my father will hear about this. <laughs> Gwen? I would say Ron Weasley because, you know, the hair. <laughs> yeah. We couldn't help but notice no. the hair. Uh, and finally, Bobby, how about you? Um, I'd say Dobby because all anyone's ever got me has been socks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's what we got. We've got a battle, the Lancers and the Tigers, and the way head-to-head -head works is one member of each team will come forward and go head to head. Now, Newton North, who's it gonna be? It'll be Paris. And Norton High School, who's it gonna be? Dan, all right, so Paris and Dan, come on, let's go head to head right now. We are about to go head to head, but before we begin, we do have a correction to make. Uh, the judges have decided to accept Newton North's Greek pronunciation on the lightning thief question from the last round. So we have awarded them the 10 points for, the, for that correct answer. Making the current score, Newton North, 140 points. Norton High School, 130 points. I've got Dan to my left from Norton High School. I've got Paris to my right from Newton North High School. Guys, you want to shake hands before we start this thing? <laughs> All right. As a reminder in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds. Good luck, gentlemen. Here we go. What is the first element on the periodic table? Yes. Hydrogen. Yes. In 1864, Union forces under General Sherman captured and... Yes. Mm, uh, the answer would have been Atlanta. Uh, and all of Shakespeare's plays are divided into how many acts? Yes. Five. Five is correct. Who composed the operas Don Giovanni and the Marriage of Figaro? Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Uh, in the NBA, how many players from each team are allowed on the court during a basketball game at one? Yes. Five. Five is correct at one time. In 1994, Comet Shoemaker Levy 9 smashed into what large planet? Jupiter. A character named Marlowe is the protagonist in what novella by Joseph Conrad? Heart of Darkness. What 1598 edict granted full civil rights? Yes. Eric of Nantes. Yes, that's correct. An acute angle measures less than how many degrees? Yes. 90. Yes. In 1769, what British naval captain became the first person to fully chart New Zealand? Yes. Captain Cook. Yes, Captain James Cook. Uh, what South American country gets its name from the Latin word for silver? Yes. Argentina. Yes, in March 2015, what British comedian succeeded Craig Ferguson as host of The Late Late Show? Yes. James Corden. Yes. Oh, that's the end of the head-to-head -head round. Let's take a look at the scores right now. Newton North High School, 180 points. Norton High School, 160 points. This is a very close competition. Let's hear it. <laughs> Next up is the category round with the following categories. Going green, that's all she wrote. Always alliterative. We got the beat, moonlight in Vermont, and instant karma. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. And by the way, players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer. We're going to have to get your answer. Now, Norton High School, slightly behind, but you do get to choose the first category, and what's it going to be? 
Uh, that's all she wrote. And here we go. Questions about women's literature and for 10 points. What haunting love story of Heathcliff and Catherine was published just one year before the death of its author, Emily Bronte, at age 30? Yes, Sam. Wuthering Heights. That is correct. So, Newton North, you get control of the board. Category? Going green. Going green. Questions about environmental science and for 10 points. Widely considered to be harmful to the environment, mountaintop removal is a controversial method of mining what? Yes, Bobby. Coal. Coal is correct, so Norton High, you get the board. Category? Going green. Going green for 15 points. What 1962 book by Rachel Carson attacked the widespread use of pesticides and is credited with launching the environmental movement? Yes, Tristan. Silent Spring. Silent Spring is correct. You've still got the board, Norton High. Category? Going green. This time for 20 points, which of the following business sectors produces the most greenhouse gas emissions? Is it A, airplanes, B, agriculture, C, cars? Yes, Dan. Cars? No, Newton North, you want to try it? Yes, Sam? Agriculture. Yes, agriculture, which means Newton North, you get the board back. Category? We got the beat. We got the beat. New category. Questions about music theory for 10 points. Things that you strike, like the drums or xylophone, belong to what family of instruments? Yes, Bobby? Percussion. Yes, that's right. So, Norton, you get the board back category. Going green. We're going back to going green. 25 points the United States signed but never ratified. What 1997 international protocol that sets binding targets for the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions? Yes, Max? Kyoto Protocol. That is right. And now, Newton North, you have got control of the game again category. Always alliterative. New category, always alliterative. All answers are alliterative phrases. And for 10 points, citing safety concerns in 2015, Disney World joined a growing list of venues to ban what gadget that many consider the pinnacle of narcissism? Yes, selfie Tristan. stick? Yes, the selfie stick. Uh, Norton High, you've got the board back category. We got the beat. Okay, we got the beat this time, 15 points. A moderately soft dynamic is indicated by the letters MP, which stands for what? Yes, Dan. Mezzo piano. That is correct. All right, category Norton. Uh, we got the beat. For 20 points. From the Italian for detached, what musical notation indicates short, clear-cut playing of notes? Yes, Tristan. Staccato. That is correct. Norton High, you've got the board again. We got the beat. 25 points, also known as the keynote. What first note in any scale is the focus for both the melody and the harmony? Yes, Max. The root. No. Norton, you want to try? The tonic is the answer there. Norton High, you've still got the board, though. Category? We got the beat. All right, this time, 30 points at stake. Roughly meaning walking speed, what Italian musical notation for a moderately slow tempo is slower than Allegretto, but faster than Adagio. Yes, Max. Andante. Yes, it is. And now Newton North gets control of the game. Category? Instant karma. Instant karma. New category questions about world religions. And for 10 points, the Jewish Sabbath begins at nightfall on which day of the week? Yes, Andrew? Friday. Friday is correct. You've still got the board, Newton North. Instant karma. For 15 points, nirvana, the state of perfect peace and stillness of mind, is most closely associated with what religion? Yes, Dan? Buddhism. Yes, you've got the board back. Norton High. Uh, instant karma. For 20 points. According to the Gospels of Matthew and Luke, Jesus was born in which of the following cities? A, Bethlehem. B, Jerusalem. C, Nazareth. Yes, Max. A, Matt. Bethlehem. A, Bethlehem. Yes, correct. And now Newton North has control of the game. Category? Moonlight in Vermont. Moonlight in Vermont, new category. Questions about Vermont. Uh, for 10 points, with a population of fewer than 8,000, what Vermont city is the smallest state capital in the United States? Yes, Paris. Montpelier. That is correct. You've got the board Newton North category. Always alliterative. Uh, this time for 15 points. PTSD, or post-traumatic stress disorder, was known as battle fatigue during World War II and as what condition during World War I? Yes, Sam. Shell shock. Shell shock is right. You've still got the board, Newton North. Category? Moonlight in Vermont. Uh, moonlight in Vermont this time for 15 points. To celebrate the state's legalization of same-sex marriage in 2009, what quintessential Vermont brand renamed its chubby hubby flavor, Hubby Hubby? 
Yes, Andrew. Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's. And uh, Newton North, you've got the board. Always alliterative. Always alliterative. This time for 20 points. What nightclub at 10 Matthew Street in Liverpool was the venue where the Beatles first rose to fame in England? It's the Cavern Club. Uh, but Newton North, you've still got control of the game. Category. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote this time for 15 points. What is the last name of Meg, Joe, Beth, and Amy, the four sisters in Louisa May Alcott's Little Women? Yeah, Gwen. Alcott? No, Newton North? You want to try it? The answer there is March. And uh, you've still got the board, Newton North. Moonlight in Vermont. 20 points this time. Uh, what Vermont politician is the first self-described socialist to be elected to the U.S. Senate? Yes, Bobby. Bernie Sanders. Yes, correct. Uh, all right, Norton High, you've got the board category. Going green. 30 points, big one. In 1896, what famous Swedish scientist became the first person to propose that fossil fuel combustion may eventually result in global warming? Yes, Andrew. Nobel. No, Norton High, you want to give it a shot. Svanta Arrhenius is the answer there. And uh, category, please, Norton. Always alliterative. Always alliterative. 25 points. Uh, what comic masterpiece was Charles Dickens' first published novel? Dan. Uh, Pickwick Papers. Yes, Pickwick Papers is correct. You've still got the board, Norton High. Always alliterative. Uh, for 30 points. Prized since antiquity for its bright blue color, what gemstone was used as the eyebrows on the funeral mask for King Tut? Yes, Paris. Lapis lazuli. Yes, that is right. And uh, Newton North, you've got the board. Instant karma. Instant karma for 25 points. What Arabic word refers to the pilgrimage to Mecca that every adult Muslim is supposed to make at least once in a lifetime? Yes, Max. The Hajj. The Hajj is right. You've still got the board, Newton North. Go. Moonlight in Vermont. This time for 25 points. Uh, what early Vermont settler is best known for leading the Green Mountain Boys to capture Fort Ticonderoga at the outbreak of the Revolutionary War? Yes, Dan. Ethan Allen. Yes. Okay, Norton High, you've got the board. Uh, Moonlight in Vermont. 30 points. Alpine tundra that has survived the Ice Age is found on what mountain that is the tallest peak in Vermont? Yes, Dan? Killington? No, Newton North, you want to try it? Mount Mansfield is the answer there. Oh, there's the bell that ends the category round. We're going to take a look at the score. Newton North High School right now, 335 points. Norton High School, 260 points. Let's hear it for both teams, everybody. Good game, good round. into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. We call it the lightning round, and this is a fairly close competition. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers, teams, will cost you 20 points. Now, the clock is set, so if the teams are ready, and are you? Well, then so am I. Here we go. By definition, a quadrilateral has how many sides? Four. Dan. Yes. Uh, what is the scientific name for the kneecap? Yes, Bobby. Patella. Yes. What Republican vice presidential candidate gave his famous checkers speech in 1952? Yes, Dan. Nixon. Yes, Richard M. Nixon. What mountain range separates France from Italy? Dan. Alps. That is correct. Uh, the musicals Chicago and Cabaret were written by what American songwriting team? Candor and Ebb. Uh, what large bird is the fastest animal on two legs? Paris. Ostrich. Yes. What is the atomic number of carbon? Yes, Six. Dan. Six is correct. In Dante's Inferno, which is the worst of the seven deadly sins? Pride, the answer there. Uh, the gemstones emerald and aquamarine are varieties of what mineral? Beryl. Uh, Ronald Reagan was first elected U.S. president in what year? Max. Um, 1980. 1980 is right. The Australian Open is a major tennis event held every January in what city? Yes, Paris. Melbourne. Melbourne is right. Badlands National Park and Mount Rushmore are in what U.S.? Yes, Paris. South Dakota. Yes. What icon of French cinema directed the 1959 film The 400 Blows? <laughs> Francois Truffaut. Uh, what protege of Richard Wright wrote the 1952 novel Invisible Man? 
Oh my, that's the bell ending the round and ending the game this week. And the winner is Newton North High School with a score of 415 points. Uh, the runner up, Norton High School, with 360 points. And again, more applause. Let's congratulate them again. Wow. So here's the deal uh, Newton North High School now moves on to play in the quarterfinals. So listen, be sure to tune in. Be sure to be back here. We'll see you next week right here on High School Quiz Show. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Report a claim. Pay your bill. Safety's mobile app is just one more way we help you manage life's storms. For auto, home, and business, ask your independent agent about safety insurance. Production of WGBH.